Hey everybody, welcome. I am back. I am back in my room studio. I like to think of it as a studio even though it's it's not. I am back here in Deutschland, I am back in Germany and I am feeling infinitely fucking better than I did before I left. Before I left one of the videos I wanted to make was trying out and reviewing this basket case eyeliner from Kat Von D. As the title suggests this is a guy's eyeliner in this large box but as you can see uh, I brought this with me with the intention of filming the video in New Zealand which I didn't get around to doing so I brought it back and the, the, the trip has squashed the box rather. This is just the box that it came in for some reason it's a very large box basket case anti-precision eyeliner. This product is a collaboration between Kat Von D and Billy Joe Armstrong is that his name? Yes, Billy Joe Armstrong. It's got their signatures on the inside in gold there, and also on here. Kat Von D Beauty always has such beautiful packaging, it always, it's always so nice. It's a little bit grubby because, like I said, Mr. L was using it. Oh, a little sign on the side tells me that it's vegan, so there you go. Uh, I'm pretty sure all Kat Von D Beauty products are, are vegan. Oh, here we go. And Mr. L was using this and he thought it was very good. He doesn't wear a huge amount of makeup. When he does, he'll often put on a bit of foundation and some sort of like dark smoky eyeness, which is, I think, a good look for a guy. As this is an eyeliner specifically for dudes, I thought I would give it to him and let him try it out and he really liked it a lot. So he liked it, but uh, I want to try him out as well. And since I don't have like a guy handy here, to try try it out on. I'm just gonna have to pretend to be a guy, I guess. When this eyeliner came to me, there were also some photographs inside, so I guess this would be him here. Put this whole like sort of Nancy themed photo shoot thing going on. So yeah, this sort of look, this is what I wanna try and achieve today. So a little bit about this eyeliner and what makes it special and different from other eyeliners, it's called Basket Case, it's an anti-precision eyeliner. So I guess the idea behind this is that instead of being able to make lovely straight lines is that you're, you're meant to be able to fuck with it like you're, it's designed to be able to, to play with a little bit so my expectations are that this is going to be quite soft hopefully that it will stay in place once it's there that it should be able to be blended into quite a smoky eye just by itself so I guess we'll find out I'm looking forward to having a play with it actually there we go basket case anti-precision guy liner from Kat Von D Beauty obviously this is not just for dudes anybody could use this but I quite like the idea of there being like a guy's eyeliner because I feel like a lot of guys who want to wear makeup might feel a little bit embarrassed or maybe uncertain if they you know they go into the the cosmetics department of a shop or even more likely is that they don't really know what to look for like they might want to achieve a certain look but not know how to do it um, that's just my experience from knowing men and talking about makeup with them they're like what's mascara where I guess this is a nice straightforward product you can just go straight and get it off the website blah 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 I don't know if you can see there but the product itself is actually pretty thick like it's definitely anti-precision it's really thick for an eyeliner like the ones that I'm used to are these tiny little delicate brushes with like a few little hairs on it or something it's in one of these retractable doodads so it can't be sharpened it just is that thick so those are my expectations I'm really looking forward to trying this out I've already got Mr. Owl's seal of approval but uh, I don't have like a guy handy here to play with it on so I'm just gonna have to pretend to be a guy for a bit so yeah let's do that any excuse to wear a moustache actually I look I think I look pretty good with a moustache if I were a man I would totally have like some real fancy nice moustache so let's try out the collaboration with Billy Joe Armstrong Kat Von D Beauty's basket case anti-precision eyeliner and ta -da! so this is how I apparently pretend to be a dude by drawing on a feeble moustache. Pretty sure this suits me. I mean, I feel like, I'm, um, you know, I don't like the lack of eye makeup. We're about to fix that. I think I look pretty good with a moustache. I'm just so sad that I can't actually grow one. This is a constant source of sadness to me. Now that I've got my moustache on and I'm ready to pretend to be a dude testing out a dude's eyeliner, let's have a go with it, shall we? I'm gonna have a go at blending it. I'm gonna try using a finger because that's nice and easy, but also this is a Kat Von D brush. It is my favorite brush. I'll give that a go to see how, what sort of a difference that makes. I don't wanna say a smoky eye, but just like a bit of kind of blurred out eyeliner I think looks good. I'm just gonna get on with it. I'm gonna shut up. Okay. Pretty smooth. It's very easy to control. It goes on really nicely. It's kind of like, yeah, there's, there's definitely very little um, <laughs> ability to do little small details or something. Okay, we're going to go all the way in. Just a nice and big right around like that. Looking good. Stand back everybody. Professional makeup artist at work. 
something that I've noticed guys don't do and that they probably should is get into the habit of lining the waterline because it, it always sort of looks like there's something missing I've noticed when a lot of guys wear eyeliner and I think it's I think it's just not doing the waterline or often like wearing mascara like I've put on a little bit of mascara because my hair is black my eyelashes are white blonde and it looks very weird if you've got blonde eyelashes sticking out of uh, black um, eye makeup so gonna have a wee go on the waterline there My eyes look really small. Because my eyes look so small, I'm gonna have a go at blending it. Might be a bit difficult with the finger. Oh, wow, so that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> okay, it's stuck there, wow. I mean, that's, that's, that's good, right? But I was hoping that it would be a little bit smudgier. Okay, so no then. Let's try it with the, with the brush. No, it has set in place. On the bright side, at least you know it's not gonna like crease or something. It is stuck there, wow. Let's make it a bit bigger and I'll kind of blend it while I'll make, I'll just go a little bit messy. Let's do that. I've always wanted to do like a drag king transformation, like really just, I don't think I could do it to myself, but you know, like to get a proper makeup artist to turn me into a, like make me look like how I would look if I were a man. I think that would be really cool. I would enjoy that. When I was a bit younger, I used to go for that androgynous look from time to time, but I could never really pull it off. Yeah, wow, it really doesn't like smudge. It really doesn't like blend out with the finger or whatever. It's just like once it's there, it's there. There's a clean finger that's Look at that. That is on there. Actually very impressive. I like this. I like this eyeliner a lot. It's just, I don't really use pencil eyeliner. That is amazing. I have never seen that before. I'm just going to say that in general this is just a really good eyeliner and I would also probably be tempted to use it as like a black eyeshadow. That's something I might actually have a go with. When I do my normal eye makeup I usually use like a fat black eye pencil or this like colour tattoo stuff that you paint on but I think this would actually be kind of a lot better than those things. I'm assuming I can just take it off with the normal like oil based uh, makeup remover because that seems to get off all kinds of makeup. I've, I'll give that a go in a second as well. Not just for guys, I'd say for anybody, this is a really good eye product. If you're not interested in doing fine lines, but you want something that's just easy, put it on and it's gonna stay there. And yeah, the, the anti-precision-ness of it is kind of cool. Like you, you can't help but make it like messy. It is a positive review. I think that's kind of a cool idea. It's something a little bit different. I like it. I was gonna give this to Mr. L. Now I'm not so sure I wanna give it away. I like it. <laughs> so my final thoughts for the basket case eyeliner it would be that it's very pigmented a little goes a long way and it's super easy like if you just want a quick messy dark eye look which like I said is my favorite eye look on guys I just think it looks really nice and that more guys should be less afraid of trying to you know wear a bit of makeup if you're someone who hasn't had much practice putting on makeup or you think you might not be very good at it I'd say this would be a good starting point because like it's meant to be messy so how much do you actually get Oh yeah, well, that's all right. Definitely seen worse. Kat Von D Beauty is in general one of my favorite makeup brands. I really have come to depend on it for a lot of things. Like it's now the foundation I use. Okay, so I can't find this on the Kat Von D Beauty website. Well, I'll link that below anyway, because like I said, one of my favorite makeup brands. It appears to only be on the Sephora website and it costs $19. Sounds like a normal price for something like that, I suppose. It's sounds decent. It's on the Sephora website which is utterly unfair because we don't have Sephora here. I think Sephora is coming to Germany. Maybe. I hope I'm right. Am I right? Does anyone know? Like is Sephora coming to Germany? I bloody hope so because I like I lose my shit every time I see a Sephora. First I'll just see how easy it is to get it off. Just I like to use these oil based um, makeup removers. They get off everything really quickly. Ooh, it's so thick. It is coming away with the makeup remover, just I'd put it on quite thickly in some places so it needed a, to be rubbed over a few times. Now that I look super awesome and now you all know what I look like with a really cool moustache, I think I'll go back to looking the way I did before. Ready, set, go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative, if not entertaining. Do you agree with me that I totally suit a moustache? I'm kind of sad that I can't have one. 
I am. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. It makes you cooler. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time.